YouTube, this is Project Team Shockwave. Today we'll be doing a deck profile of the Loki deck uh, from the Battle of the Gods. You guys have been requesting about these deck profiles from the Battle of the Gods, so here's one of them. Alright, so here's the deck profile. Before we start with this, um, I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing these uh, Nordic's names, so I'm going to be butchering it or just going to call it the way it is. So, I play 2 Diverge, 3 Myra. Um, three of this light blue spellcaster one, two of the warrior here, uh, two of the level five um, Nordic monster, uh, and two Feckler, one chaos sorcerer, and one black blue soldier. I played three cyber dragon and one glow of bone. Uh, the question you might ask, uh, why I'm playing cyber dragon? It's uh, very easy. So. One of the quick, quickest way to special summon Loki is that um, special summon Cyber Dragon. Don't want to summon this monster here, the uh, level four spellcaster, and then use her effect to allow you to special summon this card from your hand. And from there, you can, since it's a tuner, you can use this card and Cyber Dragon and form it into Loki automatically on the first turn if your opponent controls a monster. Another way to special summon Loki on the very first turn is that um, you use Myra's effect. Uh, Myra's effect is basically when you conduct a synchro summon, the other materials it has to be in your hand and it has to be Nordic monster. So uh, the best way to do it is grab uh, this monster here and this, and then sync into ten again, get into Loki. Um, Really love how you can get Loki very fast compared to all the other Nordic gods out there. So with the magic lineup, I have uh, one Soul Charge, one Reinforcement, two MSD, two Forbidden Lands, two Soul Exchange, one Regeki, and one Mind Control. I should put that down. The reason why I'm playing Soul Exchange over uh, Stormfort, it's a it's a preference just because uh, with this deck. You need to exceed summon if you're planning to summon the big monster out. I prefer if I'm committing more cards on the board, I'm planning to exceed something into it or synchro something to a monster, especially if I'm planning to get out Loki as fast as possible. For the trap lineups, I'm playing three of the trap rollers here, uh, two D persons, and then the staples, boundless, compulsory, trend tribute, solemn warning, and I'm playing one of the uh, Nord Nordic relic. Uh, this is one is the secret rare version where. Uh, it doubles the monster and defense of the Nordic ones you choose uh, until the end of the turn. Oh, you, until your opponent's turn. The reason I'm playing it because this deck has very low monsters uh, attack, so I would like to have it give just a little bit of edge. Uh, so for the extra deck lineup, two Loki. Uh, that's all you need. Star Eater, Leo, Stardust, Black Rose. Arcane Light Magician. The only way you can get him out from what I'm seeing here is just uh, Chaos Sorcerer and Effect Builder. Goyo Guardian, Armides, Army Arm, and for my XC lineup, I'm playing Exiton, Castell, and 101. I believe they're just the best uh, problematic cards for rank 4s and for rank 5s, uh, Tyrus, and Volcosaurus. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. As you can see, this is just a Chaos build. Uh, there's plenty of lights and darks to go around to get your sorcerer or your blacklisted soldier. Um, overall, I re really like this deck. Out of all the god decks I have seen so far in this uh, whole project, I think Loki can produce its god cards the fastest in this deck. It's very fun, and I recommend you should try it if you have the chance. It's uh, the cards is easy to get. There's no really expensive cards around here. Maybe gold polka uh, at the least. So that's pretty much the video. If you guys haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Parker Team Shockwave. Signing out.